Hello, it's the Anfield Wrap. Uh, we're in the Lion Tavern in Liverpool City Centre, and we're here with Terry McDermott, who's got a book out. Um, this is it. Living for the moment. Well worth a read. Uh, Terry's been doing loads of media around this book. Uh, we thought we'd jump on the bandwagon. Um, <laughs> there's a brilliant interview with Terry, by the way, uh, by Steve Hoddersall from Radio City. You can get that on audio. Boom, look that up. 40 minutes chatting all about the book, all about Terry's career. I've had a listen myself and it's fantastic. So if you want a, a serious interview, not in a pub with a pint, uh, that's the one for you. But uh, Terry, for people who uh, haven't yet heard about the book then, I mean, w- why now with the book and uh, and what can you tell us about it? Really, really, the only reason I've really done it, to be honest with you, I didn't, I've been asked a few times to do one and I didn't really want to do it because when, when you put a book out, you want impact of a, of a book, meaning go and batter someone, you yeah. know, do you like all that, you know, controversy oh, and all that. And I, I wasn't going to do that, you know, and I, and I hope when you, people read the book that I haven't had to go with anybody, you know. I've said some truths, but sometimes hurts. But I've never upset I'd like to think I haven't upset anybody, you know. And uh, and really, it was, a, it was my wife and my wife, Carol, and my, two, uh, my three kids kept on going on about it. Why don't you do one? And I didn't really want to do it. And eventually, about... About six months ago, we decided, yeah, I'm going to do it. But there was only one stipulation that I could do. The lad who wrote it, a fellow called John Richardson. Yeah. And he was, he's been fabulous. He's, uh, I've known him for 30 odd years, and he's one of the few you would trust. Yeah. And uh, I trust him implicitly. I knew he'd do a good book, and now that I've read most of it up to now. It's, it, it doesn't let me down. It's yeah. been brilliant, it's you know. Interesting to say that because it really captures your voice in there, doesn't it? And I didn't realise you've known him for so long, but that's obviously how he's managed to do it. Because it, it is just like you know, speaking to you now, reading the book, and he's he's really managed to capture your voice, hasn't he? Oh yeah, yeah, you know, and, and it kept it. Well, I've got to be honest with you. You know, we we went for out have for a few pints of lager, but that led to about fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think he wanted to come too often up to Newcastle because I live in Newcastle and he had to travel, which is brilliant. He travelled up from Cheshire, and um, when he came up, there was many a time, I've got to say this, I've got to tell the truth, it's not a biography, tell the truth, and many a time I've had to put him to bed, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and when he's fully dressed. <laughs> I'm not sure many many writers and with autobiographies had that sort of no, relationship, but, 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 but did, you, did you enjoy it then more than no, you yeah. thought you were going to, because as you said, you were a bit reluctant, so did you enjoy doing it more than you thought? Yeah, definitely, I loved it, I loved it, you know, coming, because it brings back memories. And so, so, you know, looking at the just the, the front page there, you know, I don't remember that. But then when I've been told, I thought I must have scored, but I didn't. Apparently, it was against Everton. I'm only only what I've been told. I might be totally wrong. And I, I crossed it or I edited it across to John Tosh. I could put it in the back of the net, and that's why it's like that. So it, it just brings back great memories, and and I can, you know, let people know that I, I'm I know I'm a bit of a boy, and you know, I like a laugh and that, you know, and. But sometimes you've got to be serious, you know, and I've got a fantastic wife, fantastic kids, and a fantastic family. And I'm being very, I've been very, very lucky, you know. And, and you know, I've put it in my book about my, my mother dying at an early age, so, you know, that was hard. But, um, yeah, it's, I'm delighted I've done it, you know. I, I hope that people enjoy it as well, the ones who are going to buy it. I do hope they enjoy it, and I think they will, because I know what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I know some of what's in there as well, Terry, and I'm surprised you've told one story that I, I, I had heard before about, we won't go into it too much, but, uh, read the book, but uh, a certain incident at St George's Hall, shall we say. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go past there, I cringe. <laughs> You read it and find out what that is. But uh, we all, we also wanted to get Terry on here. It is, of course, the Merseyside derby tomorrow. Uh, a big one, and it feels like a bigger one than sort of for a long time, really, because, you know, both sides have, have still got a, a chance, I guess, of getting into the top four. Everton sort of bigging themselves up at the moment, talking about new stadiums and spending lots of money and telling us that our heads are falling off every five minutes and they're not. Um, <laughs> But, but yeah, Terry, I mean, how, how different is it? How different is a Merseyside derby to, to play in compared to all the other games that you're playing in? Now, you know, what, the atmosphere, the occasion, you know, you're, you're, you're a local lad as well, Kirby and all that. So when you're going out there and you're seeing the Blues lining up against you, how does that make you feel as you're going out there? Well, well of course, you know, that, that's, we always look at when the fixtures come out, when are we playing Everton? Yeah. That's all we care about, when are we playing Everton, you know? Because, and fairly be not we used to beat them. Um, but obviously they've had that in moments as well. But um, but I made my debut against 
against Everton when I le left Newcastle to come to Liverpool and my first game was against uh, at Goodison Park against um, Everton and the game was absolutely crap and I was even worse <laughs> um, and I, you know, I realised after a little while it was different because that was a different game than what I was used to certainly when I was at Newcastle I'd play against Everton I played against Liverpool but I'd never played in a derby and that was completely completely different yeah. it was a hundred mile an hour snapping each other for fun can't do that now you can't tackle. You tackle, they, 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 they pretend you beat their heads and then you had to look up, I'd look at the referee, I'm a look at you getting sent off. Soon they get sent off, they get up and thank you very much. They're trying against 11. But it is a di different atmosphere. I know, I know your, su your supporters think it is as well, you know, because, and what I love about it, and I hope it's still going on, that th we can sit next to each other, Evertonian, Liverpool, and sat next to each other. That, I think that's brilliant. That's telling all of Britain and all of Europe the world, we can enjoy our football. Have a rivalry, fine. You know, but after game's finished, gloating it, fine. I said, and then a few days later, you're back to mates again. Not, not, not all this trouble that used to go on in, in, in them days. I don't, I'd like to think it doesn't happen anymore. Yes, you'd say, you know, they sing songs about each other and things like that, which I don't particularly like. But as long as it's done in the right spirit, fine. But when you when you when you walk out, it's a different atmosphere completely to any other game. Yeah. You know, walking out at, at Anfield or Goodison Park, you know, the, the the noise that they make and and the tension, because you know we're desperate to win, they're desperate to win. And in them days, there were some big, strong lads there. You know, yeah. Mickey Lyon for Everton, Teddy Darricot was a hard lad, and they've, they've had you know they've, they've had some really tough games against us. But then we've had tough games against them where we've got. We've got Graham Sooners, we had Graham Sooners, we had Tommy Smith, we had Jimmy Case. You. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I pretended I tackled. <laughs> it looked as though I was tackling, I wasn't. <laughs> um, no, it, 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 it's a special occasion. I'm looking forward to, just to watch it tomorrow, you know, it's going to be fantastic. I'll, I'll just see it going tomorrow then, Terry. I mean, um, I said I said when we were at, at the opening there that, you know, Everton, decent side this season. Uh, got Lukaku up front. Uh, do you fancy the chances, I think? Oh, they will do. You know, Lukaku is a good player. He's, I mean, he's improving. He still needs to improve again. But he's a handful. He's a big, strong fella. Quick. And he puts the ball in the back of the net. So, what more do you want? But they are, they are, they are a, a, a team that's looking up. But we're still looking down. So, yes, it's going to be difficult tomorrow. Yes, we know that there's going to be blood and thunder. I wouldn't say blood and thunder because it, they can't, they're, not allowed, they're not allowed to by referees now. So, it's plenty, obviously, it's quicker. The game's quicker. And if you touch someone, when someone, you know, you're at speed, they go down, you know, it's a penalty, sent off or whatever, that can happen. But in our day, it was a lot tougher. There's no doubt about that. But in this day, it's a bit quicker. So, but we're quicker than them. <laughs> we are. You, you go in the game tomorrow. You work at the club. We were just saying before you were you one of the ambassadors on the day, or the legends, as they call it. Do you enjoy going to these games? Do you enjoy watching them as a as a spectacle? Oh, I love it. I mean, tomorrow's special all the time against Everton, but playing against anyone, I just love being there. I'd, I'd, I'd never been back. I left '82, and I'd only gone back there with Newcastle. Um, not any. Well, I did once with the, when Newcastle in the cup against Liverpool. The last team we wanted to play, me and Kevin, were at. But at Newcastle in 1984, was it? 84, yeah, I think it was 84, January 84. And we were, we were in the fourth round, and I'd be, please, not Liverpool, please, not Liverpool. Who did we get drawn against? Liverpool. We got a pummeling that day. They won 3 0, it could have been a lot more. Um, so that's the only time I've been back as a player. But as I've been a coach, been you know, onto the pitch, I've looked around, I think, oh, what a place this is. And now that I go there, every week or every home game I go wow every home game because I love you'll never walk alone I just make me get all emotional I don't know why but it does well I do know why um, it still does that well, it, 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 oh Christ I'm terrible sometimes we, we, we were having a bite to eat sometimes we, we have an half an hour to have a little bite to eat before we go and take our seats and all that but I always try and get there and I always say come on they're coming, they'll be coming out now and they'll be playing you'll never walk alone and I still get that feeling and it's bloody emotional you know, a lot of, you know, us people understand what it means, you know, that as, as players, you know, you're on there playing, the, the fans love the song, they sing it. It's just, oh, it's unbelievable. Sometimes I do tours on, on um, the days after matches or the day before the match, and there's 50 odd people, you take them around, you know, into the, the boot room, what it used to be, yeah. and, and then the changing rooms and all that. 
go down the steps onto the pitch and touching the Anfield. This is, this is Anfield. And then we'd walk along the side of the pitch. And I'm, I'm in awe of it, really. You know, yeah. I'm throwing them down. And then I'm, I'm not bothered by them <laughs> looking at <laughs> Honestly, that's true. And then we'd go down. I'd be walking down towards the, the cop end to go round the side of by the behind the goal. And I'd be walking along. But you'll never walk alone on that. So there's only 50 people there. And you're listening to you'll never walk alone. And even then, I can't talk to them. You know, I'll wait till it's finished and then I can talk. <laughs> I just want to listen to it because I think it's one of the best records that's ever, ever been made. And it's still, we still feel, get that same feeling. Us Liverpool lads playing for a club. So you imagine how much um, we must have felt coming from KB, coming from Liverpool and the likes of Stephen Gerrard and Carragher and myself, and Phil Thompson, Jimmy Case, um, Sammy Lee, um, Davy Fairclough, Dave Johnson. You can go right through it. And it means that much to us, you know, that, that they all feel the same as I do. You know, so it affects us all, not just the supporters, but the players as well. That's brilliant to hear that. Um, and, and just finally, Terry, for, for the video, uh, a score prediction for tomorrow? Well, I, I honestly think it will be a tough game. There always are anyway. I think it will be 100 mile an hour. <coughs> if we can get an early goal, I think we could win. But it, it's going to be difficult. I still think we'll win. If we can play like we have been playing, like we did the start of the season so right up until um, December, where we were superb, especially against the top teams. And let's be honest, Everton, you know, just bubbling under. Yeah, they're having a great time, just bubbling under. You know, we've got to show them who's in charge. And, um, yeah, I think we can win. Won't be easy, but we'll win. I think we'll win 2-0. Two 2-0 nil. Two nil sounds good to me. Uh, <coughs> check out Terry's book. Uh, it's available now. It's already a top seller, I believe, on Amazon. Flying off out the shelves and all that. Get it, get it, get it by a tot and all that sort of stuff. Uh, thanks, Terry, for that chat on, on the video. That's been the Anfield app.